Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Pete Plays and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to overclock your AMD Ryzen processor using AMD's Ryzen Master software. Now this is a very very basic software which could, anybody can really use and it's going to help you squeeze a lot more performance out of your newly purchased most likely Ryzen CPU. And this works from anywhere from Ryzen 3 all the way up to the AMD Threadripper. But this video is going to cover specifically the Ryzen 5 1600 which is what I have on an ASUS B350 Plus motherboard. So without further ado, you really only need a few things for this. And all you really need is to download obviously Ryzen Master. And you're gonna need a hardware monitoring program, like hardware monitor, which is what I like because it shows a lot more detail as to everything that's going on inside of your actual PC. And then you're gonna need some kind of benchmark. For this, I would say around two, cause you want a, one that's like short, that'll stress it just long enough for you to realize if there's a problem right away but and then you're gonna want prime 95 as well which is a really 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 good program for stress testing your cpu especially for long periods of time to make sure that your overclock is stable so without further ado all you need to do is just download this i'll have all the links for everything you'll need in the description and then once once you download them you can just open up amd ryzen master which is the first step of this and you're going to be greeted with this screen here it's like a warning you know warning you that it's out of warranty if you you know overclock and your processor dies and whatnot whatever like that but so if we hit okay here your screen is most likely if you have the same processor as me it's going to look like this and it's going to show you your clock speed how many you can disable all kinds of cores in here you can change your memory latency your memory timings and stuff like that and you can also adjust the voltage for the purpose of this video, all we're going to be doing is adjusting the clock speed, which is right here, and voltage control, which is down here. So all you really need to do is pick a number that you think is reasonable. Now, AMD says that they, you can expect, as of any Ryzen processor, can achieve anywhere between 3.9 to 4.1 gigahertz on the highest clock speed of, of their processors. Then it plateaus from there. So... With the stock AMD cooler that comes with your processor, I wouldn't really suggest pushing it to the maximum overclock. But if you have something more powerful like an all-in-one cooler or like a dual tower heat sink or something, you can definitely push it that far. And so for the purpose of this video, we can achieve a 3.8 gigahertz or 3800 megahertz clock speed on my processor at 1.3 volts around that. So all you need to do in this is start with a smaller number like what from what you want to achieve and what you hope to achieve you should start slightly smaller in case your processor you know if there's any problem you'll find it instantly and say you for whatever reason you might not be able to achieve it which you very well should be able to so all you need to do is launch ryzen master and change the speed here to whatever so if you set it to i say a good way to start out is 3.5 or 3.6 gigahertz which translates to 3500 or 3600 respectively megahertz all you need to do is type that value in and now this will will work however it may be unstable and i just want to be safe because you can achieve a lot higher overclocks when you raise the voltage but an offset with cpu voltage as you raise the clock speed you're going to need to raise the voltage on your processor which will in turn raise heat and cause more heat production from your processor because it has to work harder obviously because it's working faster and so your case may heat up and if thermals is a problem for you you might want to look into this but with the stock amd cooler i'd say 3.7 3.8 gigahertz is very 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 reasonable and for me i have a hyper 212 evo so my temperatures aren't near the max but the max for an amd processor i believe is 100 c and when you reach 99 i'm pretty sure it shuts off automatically so that's probably a good thing so all you need to do is raise the voltage to 1.3 and then you're going to hit apply up here and it's going to apply the changes and it's going to ask you to restart so once you restart your pc now you need to stress test your processor to check for stability this is where hardware monitor and a benchmarking program comes in so you you usually want to close out any like cpu intensive programs that are running to get a good a good baseline for your overclock so you understand if it's stable there's no and there's nothing interfering with it so i'd say close out chrome and stuff like that because we don't need that anymore and now you can launch cinebench out of your zip that you downloaded i'll have that in the description like i said earlier and so all you need to do is just launch it and accept it and now you just need to open up hardware monitor here 
and I'll put it over here because you don't really need to see it. you see your processor and all of your system info right here and you can scroll down and what you want to watch for is your temperature here and as so what Cinebench does is it stresses your CPU to around 100% on all your cores to put a load on it so that I mean it, this is obviously a benchmarking utility but it can be used to test stability of overclock now all I need to do is click run on here and it's gonna render an image here that will stress as you see here all of my cores here are stressed and as you see the temperature is going up I am here I'm at 3800 megahertz because I, I have done this in, in previous time and I know what my CPU is capable of achieving now I did not push it to the maximum overclock that I could which I believe would be around 4.0 if I tested correctly I just stayed at a nice 3800 because that's all I need but if you're looking I would suggest not to push it all the way and now you do have to note that when you push it higher you're going to need to raise the voltage and AMD suggests about 1.4 volts at the max with a decent cooler and 1.5 with a high end like a dual tower fan or like a dual fan all in one radiator but you have to remember AMD does suggest that at 1.45 volts the, the longevity of the processor could potentially be affected now this that, that was just a little rant while this ended but as you can see here it gives you your score how it racks up against different things and it stress tested the CPU at 100% on all cores and it was very stable the temperature wasn't through the roof or anything so in this case it's stable enough where I can go higher on the overclock but first if your temperatures are okay you can raise it a little bit more I would suggest going up by like 100 megahertz each time but nothing more than that once you reach like 3.6 past 3.6 i would take it easy now once you do this eventually as you increase your clock speed you're going to notice that it's unstable stuff might crash but when you start going up you're going to want to use a bench a benchmark called prime 95 which i also have a link for you can have the trial version and you can benchmark your cpu in this this really stresses your processor very very well so if there's anything going wrong with it you're gonna know all you need to do is create a test here in Prime 95, I would use Blend, but if you will really, really, really want to stress your processor, I would use small FFTs because this brings a lot of heat to your processor and it really stresses it. But Blend will do a nice job and you'll see all of these working hard and you can watch here. This is going to be very difficult with recording and such, but I'm at 100% CPU usage here and stuff is working and it's benchmarking. And I would run this for about 10, 15 minutes until you've reached your highest overclock that you want to go to and then I would run this for about an hour or two some people run it for 24 hours I don't really understand that but I would see I'd say 20 minutes is respectable so once you've stress tested your CPU all the way you just keep repeating these steps until you've plateaued around 3.9 4.1 gigahertz and your Ryzen processor is now overclocked and you're going to be getting you're going to see a lot of noticeable performance i noticed like a 15 to 25 fps increase in some of my games like overwatch was a big one for me i noticed a high fps increase some games it's very minimal and i'm not sure why it must just be with you know instructions for clock and stuff like that but your ryzen processor is now overclocked and you don't really have to touch anything else unless you want to change memory timing you can do that in here if you i know ryzen operates better at higher clock speeds of memory as well so i can do a tutorial on that if you'd like if you guys like this video just please leave a like subscribe tell me what i can do better and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one